All right, everybody. Um, we're uh, just kind of get things a little <laughs> um, straightened out a little bit. How you doing tonight? <clears throat> um, we're back. Um, been pretty busy over the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, going to some really cool places and seen some uh, several new things. I'll tell you what, the this county never uh, uh, never ceases to amaze me. I mean, it, it, I mean, there's always new surprises out there. And, and uh, we got one today. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to hit that off on that. I got it. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, yeah, we uh, we went to one really cool place tonight that uh, or this afternoon that uh, um, an unexpected tree. Yeah, didn't even know existed. Now someone had tell, told me something about something. I don't know if this is the place or not. Uh, but a uh, really cool place, and we'll tell you about it a little bit later on. Uh, but um, we're just going to jump in uh, right off and talk about a, um, um, go to the, our Meeting the Ancestors segment. <clears throat> I also wanted to mention our, our newest sponsors, Mill Creek Monuments and More in Melbourne. Um, we're glad to have them, and uh, they uh, will be uh, showing their sponsorship whenever we do the uh, uh, Meeting the Ancestors. And uh, talk about uh, um, some of the cemeteries around the county. Yeah, we went to a fine one today. We went to two fine ones today. Yeah, two beautiful ones um, out around the Dolph area. The first one, of course, is Wayland Arbor. Uh, if you've never been out there, man, this is a, uh, a uh, cemetery that is full of historic figures in the county. Uh, uh, that's yeah. their resting places. So, uh, and a great little uh, um, open air uh, chapel. Uh, Arbor or chapel, uh, you know, it's an open air chapel, I guess. Man, a beautiful place for an outdoor wedding. Uh, just a absolutely amazing. And the history is just uh, just really something. Uh, if you've never been out to Wayland Arbor, uh, just uh, head up uh, uh, 177 like you're going to Mountain Home out of uh, Pineville. Uh, when you get to the uh, uh, about, what, a mile out of town? There's a mile and a half out of town is the uh, Dolph Road. It turns off to the right. Go down there, what, two or three miles, and uh, maybe four miles, and and uh, you'll see the Wayland Arbor uh, uh, Cemetery Road there, and uh, just take it out there, and then uh, uh, just down the uh, highway a little bit farther is Trimble Campground. Uh, it's a little bit off the road. It's another absolutely historic cemetery. Um, it's uh, uh, up up above uh, uh, Trimble Campground Church, uh, uh -huh. and that's also where the Trimble cabin sitting in California. Yes, Rock, uh, um, just 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 down. You, you'll pass the uh, original location of the uh, uh, Trimble cabin. Of course, uh, um, that would have been James and Phoebe Trimble's home, uh, the Trimble house that's in uh, um, Calico Rock. Um, this is the uh, couple who built that cabin and lived there um, originally. That's uh, that is. Uh, uh, James and Phoebe Trimble's uh, resting place there at Trimble Campground Church. So, uh, so uh, yeah, um, that was the meeting of the ancestors. <laughs> um, in uh, Wayland Arbor, uh, uh, one of the greatest figures, uh, most colorful figures in the county, uh, county's history is buried um, there, uh, is Daniel Hadley. Um, and uh, uh, there's several historic figures uh uh, buried out there, uh, but it's just, be worth your time if if you want to go by there and check these two cemeteries. They're they're not very far from each other. Um, you can uh, go out and hit both of them and maybe yeah. spend an hour, hour and a half, and just really uh, um, enjoy meeting the ancestors. That's what you'll be enjoying doing. Quiet, peaceful. That's yeah, right. Very nice spot. Um, we're gonna move on a little bit. We're gonna try to uh, cover a little bit of what we uh, uh, missed in our last. Uh, a live stream that went uh, haywire about five or ten minutes into it. Um, we are next week. We're going to try to catch it up a little bit of time every week. Uh, we do a live or every live stream we we do. Um, we start out um, our last live stream with a um, a look at a, a battle bound down in uh, um, southwest Arkansas um, and talking a little bit about uh, a site that we suspect. Uh, we'd like to get some more information on if anybody knows about about the yeah. Nash Trail, and we'll we'll show you those videos and everything again next week, uh, probably our, our our next live stream anyway. Um, but uh, 
anyway, uh, we do want to uh, cover a little bit what we do. This this will be a little lengthy, but uh, here's a video we got here uh, a few weeks ago. Um, this is a uh, love. I mean, uh, uh, Tate, Tate Road. Road coming into Melbourne. Uh, if you've traveled Tate Road in the last uh, several months, you'll know that the uh, the quarry they've opened the quarry back up there just outside of town, about a mile out of town. Um, and uh, um, that quarry that you're looking at right now, um, that quarry uh, is the quarry that was used to build the new Izzard County Courthouse after the old Izzard County Courthouse, the Clock Tower Courthouse, um, burned um, in uh, 1937. Um, and uh, so that quarry is uh, um, the quarry where the stone was cut um, that is in the new courthouse. So when you go to the courthouse, um, anytime you go to the the uh, modern, uh, the existing Israel County Courthouse, which is this is a picture of it, just not long after it was built, um, uh, the stone for that for the the limestone uh, cut limestone for this building came from that quarry. Um, it's also uh, uh, Car Shannon uh, talks about it in, in his book. Yeah, that's the hole in the ground it came out of. It. That's right. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, um, wanted to just show you some pictures here. This is after the, uh, uh courthouse burned down. Let me get over here and get to, uh, um, this webpage that I need to get to here. Um, oh, where are we at? All right. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, Yeah, this this is the burnout hulk of the old Izzard County uh, uh, the clock tower courthouse, uh, the one you saw a picture of just a moment ago. Um, this was uh, after it had burned, of course. Terrible. It was a beautiful building. Um, that's the old uh, Melbourne Times building back in the background there, if you can see that. My grandpa had an office in the courthouse, wow. that, the one that burned. See the rubble pile there. Yeah, as they're dismantling it, but uh, um, but yeah, the uh, um, the t the people who dismantled that building and the people who I guess quarried the stone and uh, uh, built the courthouse uh, and everything it was the uh, uh, National Youth Administration um, and the. Uh, 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 the uh, Civilian uh, Conversation uh, Conservation Corps um, back in the uh, uh, late 30s. And uh, they uh, had a camp up about a mile north of town. Um, we've taken folks up there. Uh, we've given people opportunity a way to go up there a couple of times. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. It still exists, uh, just as uh, Car Shannon uh, uh, described it. In well, actually, book. it's still in the city limits now. It is. It is. It's, it's in the city limits, and it's it's like a little ghost town. Hit that. Now I've got this is kind of a lengthy uh, um, video, but we're gonna watch it anyway. I want you to see it because uh, this is the the best footage that I've been able to get. They've cleared out down there. Um, they've done a lot of clearing down here, so man, it's it's a lot easier to see. But it's amazing how much is left of this yeah, right. You can still find some thorns too. Right, uh, Car Shannon said that uh, when they when they uh, uh, when this program ended, that they tore all everything that was wooden down, basically and left every all the stonework and everything uh, uh, as it is, and and that's exactly uh, yeah. how it is today. And you'll see here in this video. I think it's about 10 minutes long. Yeah, the buildings was bolted together. They wasn't nailed. So all they had to do was unbolt it, load it on the truck, and take it out and set it up somewhere else. I, I don't know where they sent it at, but they did. Yucca Garden. So it was planted by the... Uh, this, is, uh, this was kind of the road, I guess, that came down from... Uh, the from National Youth Administration. But these are the uh, boys, I'm uh, sure. 
uh, yucca plants that uh, they, I guess they planted to uh, make the place look pretty. Maybe in the old back now, row the here. There, there may not even been any or trees at all. Pathway, you can see it. There. Probably was. At that time, yeah. Whole road but, uh, bit. It's, it's a pretty large there area. I'm the not camp, sure exactly this would have been the, Taco. Come here, buddy. the garden greeting everybody as they came up from the road there. Um, okay. I'm not sure how many acres it is. Walk along. Okay. Let's see what we come to down here. Down below it. Now this is the most significant structure still left on the property. This was a big building. There's a old bay there. Oh, and, have you uh, seen this before? The bar, I'm sure had, uh, a building on top of it. Yeah, this is uh, the old uh, National Youth Administration camp site. It's probably been the barracks or something. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe the latrine or something there. I don't know. Another building base there. Foundation. Good structure. Pretty good sound structure there. Basically just the uh, foundation for the building. See, there's another uh, structure just down there. Well, would you estimate that probably 80 foot by 25, 30 foot building? <coughs> I was going to say 30. And that's just. That's just the area here that's walled in. Um, it would have been the same size building up above it as well, on that uh, pad up there, that slab. <clears throat> and you see another structure here. Find our way through here. It's not all cleared out, <laughs> as you can see. But they, they've done a lot. You'll see here in a minute when we uh, when I get down to the some of the other. See, buildings. they've been uh, doing some work out here and have cleared a little area off. Bravo to them, I say. I'm not. I'm not sure what buildings were what. We've got a few pictures. I should have got them. Um, Set them up tonight. Some other when structures on down. Pulling this uh, stuff together, large, trying to quite um, as large. Trying to cover some of the stuff that we missed. And there's and, uh, the main office. There's another having some new stuff. Foundation, the slab really up there, and now, some other work. Talk a whole lot about what we've done because um, uh, that little problem with my program. And I think I uploaded something. A lot of work wrong, there. and I've got the system's kind of in a glitch, but, but uh, um, next week we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cover a little bit, uh, our, ne our next live stream, I will say next week, because you never know what's going to happen here, uh, I'm, you know, looking for a job and things like that. So. Uh, I guess that was a chow hall. That's the only one that has any kind of like a chimney oh, or, or a flu or anything. It very well could have been because you know it's all over the size. It's probably about it's 150 kids up there. Um, you know what? I, I, I didn't you know, have time to, to look back over nice some of the, the notes on this like that. Place. I had read that somewhere. I may be way off. You can see the uh, foundation work for a slab up there as well. 
Yeah, you can tell that they cleaned the bunch right here if yeah. you've been in there before. It was so yeah. much easier walking around. I'm not sure what the what this structure was. Maybe to do something with the plumbing yeah, or the drain. Water works. They had something to do with the... Carving the stones, I don't know. Some kind of vat work. Well, this is another big vat here. Another there. This is a this is a pretty deep building too. I think I say something up here, but uh, this is a kind of an L-shaped building. Um, this is a, probably an admin storage front like. office maybe or something. Yeah. Like uh, pretty cool cellar. Roof is still in, I guess, because of, not the roof. The, the floor joists from the main building. But this is an L-shaped building. Uh, this was uh, one wing of it, and then there was a pretty huge uh, building on piers. You'll see the piers running out right here. Pretty good sized building there, and that may have been a chapel. Another one could have been a dormitory. Uh, up above it, you could have put a lot of beds in it. The one with the, the flu may have been a, you know, maybe they may have the skin or something. It's a pretty big building. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the camera. And uh, so, uh, that's uh, that's the uh, uh, National Youth Administration uh, camp at Melbourne that still exists. So, um, if you our own little there, ghost town. Yeah, our own little ghost town in Melbourne. Um, you know, that you just imagine the activity that went on up there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a, it was a really a hopping place at one time. So, uh, so yeah, we wanted to show you all that. And that, that's uh, something that we, uh, we had gone over and shown uh, um, in the last live stream that went haywire. Uh, but also this, I want to show you this, um, you know, since we're on the subject of Melbourne and the courthouse and everything. Uh, now this is a, um, the Powell Bridge, the Powell Walking Bridge, uh, across Mill Creek, just below the courthouse, uh, that led over from the uh, Court Square area, over the creek to um, Powell Grove. Um, and uh, Powell Grove is where they used to have their uh, uh, town festivals and things like that, uh, the fairs, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I guess they would have shows and stuff down there, and carnivals, and and things like that. Well, we talked to um, Glenn Hunt. With, we still need to do that interview with him. Yeah. Um, we talked with him, and uh, he was telling us some things. Of course, uh, he shares a lot of uh, stories about this area um, in his uh, um, down uh, memory down lane. memory lane. The, the story down memory lane. 
Yeah, see the piers there. It's it's pretty long span too. That, that, that thing probably spanned uh, two or three hundred foot, two to three hundred foot, didn't it? You reckon? No, I don't it, think it's that far. It was a it's pretty <coughs> pretty long bridge. Maybe my perception was off, but it, it seemed like it was a span the creek. And, the other, to the other side because there's not any piers on the other side of the creek left, are there? No, not the night. They're, they're all, all the piers are on the south side of the creek. But uh, that was a, it was a, a, a plank footbridge across there. Um, I didn't put the uh, old image up. Uh, you've probably seen the old image on the, uh, um, the site. But uh, yeah, that's the Powell Bridge that led over to uh, Powell Grove. Um, still existing today, and uh, it'd be so neat to see a park spring back up down there again. It's just uh, we walk uh, when the snakes clear down. The <laughs> yeah, that's that's true as well. But uh, uh, we we walked down there uh, when we got this footage and went to the spring and and uh, everything. Uh, while we were down there, uh, the Powell Spring uh, in Powell Grove, I guess that's what everything was kind of centered around. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, of course, one time, just uh, um, uh, not far from there was the old Bingham Schoolhouse. Uh, there was also a boarding house uh, um, up above the spring, up in there somewhere, uh, for people who came to go to school in Melbourne. Um, and this is pretty early, too, uh, on that stuff. So... Uh, um, yeah, um, so that's a, a, a couple of things that we uh, um, had wanted to show you in uh, that last live stream that went went haywire. The uh, um, we want to talk talk about the uh, the quarry opening back up and and uh, the uh, courthouses and the uh, National Youth Administration and uh, show you the Powell Bridge and talk about Powell uh, Powell Grove a little bit. Uh, but anyway, now we're going to move a little move on to. Uh, some things we've been doing uh, uh, just the last couple of weeks. Of course, last Sunday, and this is it's supposed to be a video. tree talk time. Yeah, well, we're, we're not really going to do a tree talk tonight. Well, well, we're going to talk about that tree. So. Well, we're, we're gonna, we'll talk about a couple of trees here. But <laughs> this is supposed to be a little video clip, but um, this is one of the ones that kind of froze up on us. So I don't know why it's not running. Uh, like I said, I think it's a way that I uh, downloaded my images um, and got some kind of uh, file names cross-referenced somehow, but but anyway, this is a this is a tree just a um, at uh, your sister's place, just out uh, just yep. um, not far from your sister's place. A huge, beautiful tree, and you can't really get the uh, uh, gist of it uh, in this image because it it was supposed to be a video, and you can see the uh, the profile of the tree, but it's a huge tree, a uh, really really neat old tree. And then also, uh, um, this is a, a new tree that we had go to. Um, Coburn Howell had, uh, uh, this is also about. supposed to be a video clip. Um, yeah, he, he uh, put a um, photo of this tree up. Uh, I, I remember when I first saw it, uh, because in, uh, um, in relation to some of the other trees around it, I thought, well, that's maybe, a, you know, that might be a 20-inch round tree or something like that. But I asked him if he had any idea, and he went back and, and measured it, and it's 34 and a half inches in diameter. It's a big tree. Well, 34.37, I think, is, uh, yeah. uh, is what it came out to. It was 106 be. inches around it, wasn't it? Right. And that's a pretty big tree. And, it, <laughs> and you can see here, uh, um, uh, there's a little bit of perspective there. But, uh, and of course, uh, um, Bob there in the uh, center of the on the left, the guy on the left down there, the blue hat, you know, Bob, if you've watched this at all, um, here a few weeks ago, um, he's not even made it down to the tree yet, but, uh, I think there's some pictures up on the, uh, I think yeah, you put I one put up. Some up right. and I put one up of me and you. But this is, this is an absolutely beautiful tree. I mean, yep. uh, it's flawless. I mean, it's like, uh, it's almost like somebody sculpted it. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, there's no, scars on it or anything it's just really the bark is smooth on all 
it's just it's really an amazing trick. Um, but anyway, that's what we did. And um, to give more detail about these last two images um, that we shared, those two trees, um, go to last the, Sunday, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you put up so, put up a bunch of those trees and yeah. everything. Uh, now Bob has sent me uh, uh, pictures and, and uh, information that uh, um, uh, that Don has sent back to him on it. I hadn't shared it yet, and and we will do that in the in the next trail talk. Mm -hmm. um, we'll we'll talk about all that and some some really interesting stuff, especially um, uh, Coburn. If you just happen to watch this, um, he's got some interesting stuff about your place. So. Uh, um, uh, I'm excited to, to share some of that with yeah. you, but but we went last Sunday when Bob came. Uh, of course, Saturday we went up to to look at that tree. Yeah, uh, we wanted to see, you know, we wanted to see where it was. Uh, and of course, Coburn ended up uh, being there Sunday too because uh, I think <laughs> I think we've kind of created a monster with, <laughs> with Coburn. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, anyway, uh, uh, we went back up Sunday when Bob came up. Uh, that was uh, one of our last trees. Um, I should have shut that down. Uh, thank you. Um, it was one of our last trees. That, it was actually we plan, had planned on being our last tree, um, but there he also had. Uh, there was also three others that we were able to document yeah. while we were there, but we ended up doing eighteen trees, eighteen trail trees last Sunday. So the two days that Bob's come up in the last what six weeks, probably. Yeah. The two days that he's come up, we've uh, documented thirty trees. Thirty trees, Can thirty trail that? trees in the county, uh, and some of them are uh, our potential uh, a trail of trees, yeah. uh, trail uh, of tears, uh, trail of trees, trail our yeah. county trail of trees. Okay, <laughs> trail of tears, yeah, but trail of trees, um, they are potential uh, uh, candidates for the, our trail of trees theory. So. Uh, um, but 18 trees, man, it, it was quite a day. We started yeah. off, well, we, we met him over at Sillamore and went to several trees over, uh, yeah. uh, over there and made our way back and, uh, did several right here around Melbourne and then, uh, headed up to, uh, uh, the Calico area, did some around Spring Creek and, and, uh, uh, then headed up North to Coburn's place and, and, uh, documented five trees. Uh, one of them is not on Coburn's place, but, uh, Four of them were, but the other one is uh, one that Rick yeah, spotted. Uh, sitting at the stop side. Right. Uh, Saturday, uh, when we were coming back out from Cobra's place, um, Rick said, well, there's a tree right there. <laughs> and it was right right on the yeah, road. Said, it was well, really, did he look in front of really interesting tree. Look it's, in front uh, of us. it's another one of those football thrower yeah. type trees. Looks like a football thrower in a, on a vibrating uh um, electric football game. Remember the old electric yeah. football games? Yeah. You're <laughs> yeah. right. right yeah. Anybody uh, under 45 <laughs> maybe won't even have any idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, it was a fun day that day. I was wore out, and that's the reason we didn't do the live stream last week is because we just got in so late, could not get everything together that we wanted to do. Um, and, uh, so we just, uh, we just kind of blew it off. <laughs> so, uh, um, but we were just couldn't, just couldn't get it together. Uh, but anyway, uh, so since we're talking about trail trees, I just want to remind everybody that we are planning, uh, um, the week of July 27th, um, and Tuesday, July 28th, that week, um, we are, planning our uh, going to be planning our trail tree symposium we have don wells come up uh we'll be doing uh, some uh, um we'll be doing one field trip um to uh, some trees um there'll be a uh, uh, lectures on trail trees uh, um there's going to be a workshop on uh um native science uh, native american science um where he'll be he'll talk about uh, teach I think he'll, he's going to be teaching folks uh, how to use the uh, dowsing rods um, and how to how to read those, um, and uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, um, we're telling you this this early so that you can mark it down on your calendars. Um, you know, we, we want to do a lot around this. We don't. We, we're not. It's not going to just be what we said, but that's 
this that's the main event. Uh, Don Wells coming up, the the uh, uh, creator and uh, founder of MountainStewards.org and the database that's so important to uh, the trail tree um, studies of trail trees and the trail tree phenomenon. So uh, um, yeah, um, that's going to be uh, in late July. So uh, y'all mark your calendars for that. All right. I, that get, brings us to today, I guess. Um, and uh, we've got some images. This is, I guess we're going to call it the McGinnis place? Yeah. But, I wonder what we decided. Right. Uh, we're not sure. And, um, you know, when we find out more about this place, we'll, we'll let you know. But this is, uh, this is actually in Fulton County, uh, just over the Fulton County line. Um, uh, North of Dolph yeah. uh, and uh, Crossroads, uh, back up in there. Dude, uh, not far, right. right? Right out of Hazard County. Right. As a matter yeah. of fact, I think this is uh, in Coburn's neighborhood, uh, Coburn House. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, yeah, this is a really cool old. Uh, it's really a, a double pin log because there's two. It, it's it, it's kind of strange. There's two pins, two log pins. Um, when I say log pens, uh, you know, it's a, a square log um, buildings. Um, usually when you see two of them, they'll be uh, um, uh, side by side separated by a breezeway. Well, there's two breezeways in this house. Um, I, I hope I've depicted them well enough in this one to uh, help you understand that. But we're going to do more on this. Uh, I've got some video and stuff we'll show uh, in the future. Yeah, I'll, I'll put up one picture, but it's just almost like this. Okay. Uh, in a future a, a future live stream, we will have some video of uh, uh, some of the, well, I don't know if I've got video. We are going to go back. But we got a lot of pictures of it, more than we've got tonight. Uh, but this is a real neat place. Um, there's two, as I said, there's two log pins. They're not side by side. They are um, uh, set 90 degrees uh, to each other. But then there is a framed pin um, on uh, that sits beside one of the uh, um, log pins, um, and of course you see the remainders of the fireplace here. So it's, it's, I mean, it was a pretty old, even framed building. Uh, but it's interesting the Probably way. Probably one of the first sawmills. That, that's very possible. Yeah. Beautiful hollow back down on McGean Creek. Um, uh, the owner was telling us that uh, um, that. Uh, uh, the McGinnis family um, had uh, said that it was McGinnis Creek, or they, they called it McGinnis Creek, but somehow it was written down as, as McGeans. So the name of the creek today is McGeans Creek, um, when it was supposed to have been McGinnis Creek, uh, named after uh, um, the, uh, uh, the owner's yeah. um, uh, family's uh, name. But uh, yeah, there's some really neat stuff in here. This is the breezeway uh, separating the uh, um, the log pen in the rear. You can see this is the back of the building. You can see the rear breezeway that uh, runs uh, um, parallel to the uh, the other two pens. But uh, yeah, we'll go back through and show you these again. I didn't. I didn't get a good depiction really of uh, of that that I said. We'll, we'll do more of that again. Like I said, uh, uh, in a future uh, live stream, we're, we're, we're going to go back over there. Um, there's a cemetery that um, that we want to explore up there. That an old old cemetery that um, we're going to go explore when we go back over there as well. Uh, just a really yeah. really neat place. Now, now also you need to throw in there whenever this was built. That was built in Nizzard County. Right. That was right. Lizard County. Well, there. I think so. Uh, the lines are kind of weird through there, but uh, but I think it was Lizard County. Yeah, one the time. original. Right. Um, but anyway, that was uh, uh, that was a place that uh, uh, we've been we had planned to go um, earlier in the week or last week, um, but uh, uh, canceled mainly because it was just so doggone cold and and awful outside. So, uh, um, but uh, anyway. Uh, um, Pauletta called or messaged me today or last night. Said, "Let's go to uh, um, the uh, how the house tomorrow." And and uh, Maria uh, Broughton was wanting to go to uh, 
uh, the natural bridge uh, near Dolph. Uh, um, but we weren't able to go down there because it was just too muddy. Yeah. Uh, we stopped and talked to uh, Mr. Kanky and and uh, um, it, the everything's just um, um, rutted up and everything yeah. back there. And he's not even going back there to feed. He's he's feeding all of his cattle They're right there at the barn. Yeah. The so uh, so uh, um, we didn't go down there today. Um, so uh, w that's when we decided to go to Trimble Campground, of course, and. Uh, um, uh, to the uh, Wayland Arbor Cemetery uh, to, to kind of fill in the time that we missed from that. But then Pauletta suggested we go out and uh, see about a cave that uh, she had been told about a while back. Um, it turns out by uh, one of my uh, distant cousins that uh, um, uh, I remember uh, visiting him when I was young. Uh, a lot of you will probably remember Sock Franks um, told, had told her about this place. Um, and, uh, here several years ago, um, a lady, and I can't remember offhand who it was, um, told me that there was a natural bridge out from Chessman out there that, uh, um, would put the natural bridge near Dolph to shame. Now that, that would take a lot in my uh, opinion. I, I just, right. Uh, well, I'm the skeptic on this one. Right. Okay, um, so anyway, this cave turned out to be what we think might be the natural bridge she was talking about. It is a cave, but the uh, uh, the rear of the cave has has caved in, and and, and so it's you can actually go through it. Uh, so it's basically a natural bridge. Yeah. Um, kind of uh, like Chandler's cave. Kind of like Chandler's cave, except a, a lot bigger and. And in a real deep, deep hollow. Uh, as you're going to see here, I've, I've done a little video. I hope these videos work. I think they will. And listen, I, I just got to say, um, this is an incredible place. Not so much for the natural beauty of it and the, the uniqueness of the place. There's two gushing springs. Um, it's pretty unique. Uh, it is unique. But... It's even more unique because of the story behind it. <clears throat> and we'll uh, kind of talk about it as we uh, play these clips for you. But this place supposedly was a moonshine cave or a moonshine site. Uh, there's two gushing springs. As a matter of fact, there's a, uh, there's some tin you're going to see in, a, in another video here um, clip in just a minute that uh, um, was part of the... Uh, the old uh, still still house down there but uh anyway the uh um the moonshiner uh lived up above this hollow in a log cap um and we were told that the, the landowner was, had been told right that, uh, there. Uh, right there. this man had not been seen for a while and oh, somebody yeah. Uh, they went out to check on him in this cabin. And there was a lot of work done on this uh, place. From the, uh, from the I mean, that's a... Of the cabin. And uh, I'm not sure if I can post up a right. pretty quick of the video in there of the, uh, the cabin area up there. No, I, I might have there. I might well share that again. Steps up, and then we came down a stairway that went over there. I posted the story that you gave me earlier, but... See what oh, this is. is. All of these no, slopes. I didn't. I didn't. I took the leaves it. off. Uh, be a but anyway, uh, I think I'm talking a little steps, bit here. Like here. You can see these steps here. Yeah, those steps. And there's steps yeah, that's that go on down. Right. And this is the pool. thing that's what makes this place even a pool there. more unique. Uh, this man. And then another really or, nice spring him and the other road. people or someone at some point in the path leading back there up. are there is a curving staircase now, rock staircase all the way here. down the hall that, that doubles back on itself there's steps uh, that makes a, a pretty all the way a lot of um, work done out here uh, incline there's a couple of long a lot steps of work there but, um but you can see where pauletta there is walking um it's all covered in leaves and, and all of and these stuff, slopes but it's all step Every, every incline, any, anywhere you have to climb uh, along steps, these trails, like uh, back down between these springs and everything, every single one is a rock step. Everywhere, yeah. and it's 
um, to that pool. I would just absolutely love to There's see pool there. the the area with every all the leaves and and uh, grit and everything. And then another uh, really nice away spring from those, uh, uh, down below from it from those stone steps because I mean it's, it's really it's just, back a, just an amazing amazing the place. You can see here that there was a lot of labor that went into doing that, and a yeah. lot of love. All the way, a I mean, lot of work This was that guy's here. world. This, this hall work done. was this guy's work, that guy's work. But, but oh, man, I wish I had a, All I of these slopes, under, um, if you took the leaves off, there'd be a... That other deal. Step. Well, I didn't, so we'll share that with you um, uh, again later. We, we learn a little bit more about this yeah. uh, this guy, I guess he was well known. Now, uh, um, supposedly he hung himself back in uh, 1940. So this is early, early stuff. Um, this is uh, uh, the the trails, the uh, those trails the, with the uh, stone, the laid stone, and the rock walls and the stacked stone. Everything done by hand. Um, uh, the there's uh, the cabin place. Um, there's a uh, rock cellar. A rock cellar. Of course, it's got a concrete uh, slab uh, roof uh, and everything on it. Um, but uh, a rock, uh, uh, a, I guess, cut rock um, formed uh, uh, horse watering trough. Mm -hmm. um, just and there's also a little um, a little spring branch or something that runs right uh, down in front of the cellar. And he's got slabs of stone, uh, big slabs of stone. Uh, uh, um, crossing that creek as a, so that as a walking was part of the bridge bulkhead from the county road. Oh, was that was that what that yeah, was? Yeah, that's a bridge okay. bulkhead. <laughs> I didn't know, I uh, thought that was something that did, you didn't remember seeing the big steel I beams that I did, I did that, see them. Yeah. That, that come off of that, okay. that bridge. All right, I guess I wasn't uh listening to y'all. You were talking <laughs> yeah. about that, yeah. Well, I, you know, I got down there in it, and the uh, this, uh, this is just right. Um, well, the the old cat the old cabin was right off, right along an old county road yeah. um, that uh, is off, not maintained off at all. Highway five, right? right. Uh, county Road twenty three, I believe, is what he yeah. said. That he he thought that it was County Road twenty three, um, but uh, anyway, is a really rough part of the. Uh, I'm so glad Kennedy Kennedy Holler, yep, big huge holler with the bluff line uh, bluff line holler. And we were at the uh, apex of that hollow um, there at, uh, I guess we'll call it Pittman Cave. Good enough for me. Right. Pittman Cave. All right. Um, but uh, anyway, that's pretty well all we have for tonight for you. Um, I think Taco's about ready to go outside or something. He's, he's past well, he, he's ready for it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He gets geeky all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, that's that's really all we got tonight um, for you. Again, I want to uh, uh, remind you about the Trail Tree Symposium that'll be in July, so don't yeah. forget about that. And uh, with that, I guess uh, we'll say good night, and uh, um, we'll uh, see you uh, uh, our next live stream. I, I won't promise anything next week because uh, things are kind of up in the air for me right now on everything. So. Um, just, uh, uh, keep an eye on the Facebook page. Um, we will inform you. You'll see, uh, uh we'll give you a little bit of notice anyway, uh, way, uh, anyway, before we, uh, uh, put up another live stream. All right. So, uh, with that, we'll just say good night and, uh, um, we'll see y'all next time. Okay. Good night right. for me and taco. All right. Good night.